George, George of the jungle, friend to you and me. <laughs> Watch out for that tree. Now when he gets in a straight, he'll make his escape with the help of his friend, an ape named Ape. And then away he'll shut on his elephant chef while Maggie and Ursula stay in step. I said, George, George, George of the jungle, friend to you and me. <laughs> Watch out for that tree. In the jungle, everything fierce runs wild. And everything wild runs fierce. Even the wind. No wind can match the wild, fierce determination of our hero. To now. George, that was a tweet for help. He'll be right there. But maybe, maybe not. <laughs> Gotcha! 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 Oh, gotcha. oh! oh. Uh, hey. uh. 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 Everyone okay? <sighs> Teeny feathered friend. George is our hero. 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 Ape? What are you doing? Just sitting in my hole of low self-esteem. The traditional ape way of feeling sorry for yourself. What's wrong? Well, George is my best friend, and he's a great hero. But no matter what I do, people always give him the credit. And somehow I just feel... wet. You sit in a muddy hole, you take a seat cushion. Who doesn't know this? Ugh! Ape, you have every right to want your good deeds noticed. Next time you do something special, don't be shy about taking credit. Hmm. Maybe you're right. <laughs> I dug that hole. You like it? <laughs> Never fear. Ape is here. That's nice. <laughs> Help! I'm sinking! Good thing you called me, Chef, or I would have been in real trouble. George, I was doing just fine until... George! 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 I, George, I just... George, George, oh. I can't really talk now, Magnolia. I'm not low enough yet. Ursula told me you were feeling down, but I think I can help. The only difference between you and George is that you shower more often. He has a snappy eye-catching outfit. Oh, I suppose. And you think this cape makes the right statement? Definitely. It says, look at me, Jungle World. I am a superhero. Huh? Right? Say it loud. I'm a super ape, and I'm proud. Woo! Yeah! You go, gorilla! Now all you need is your own hooky jungle yell. Something like, uh... Hi-ho! Um, well... Uh, how about... <laughs> My skin is on fire! What is this cape made out of? I was just leaves <laughs> from some old ivy. <gasps> Poison ivy! <laughs> uh, thank you for honest. Oh, yeah, that's it. Oh, oh, I'm a bite that itch. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> Just stay away from me, you big spotlight-loving show-off. 
boy, some apes can't laugh at their own bare butt. Um, George, I think you should know that Ape is feeling a little down on himself lately. Everybody laughing at his behind didn't help. Ape doesn't want to feel like he's just your second banana all the time. Hmm, but George can't help it if he's a big hero. Hold that thought, guys, and stay close, because somebody's about to become a big, hairy, first banana. Oh, darn, now I'm hungry. Ape can't be first banana without a fruit bowl full of trouble. Ape! Oh, help, Ape! Gazelle needs Hero to save them from rocks! feel special. Fine. Disempower me. I got honey running down my back anyway. And with that, Bee Girl got a super heroic idea. All thanks to his sidekick, Honey. The first annual Give Ape a Trophy Day. <laughs> George writing jokes for the roast. <clears throat> I won't say Ape is hairy, but... But what? That, that's the joke. Hairy butt. <laughs> bananas! Get your bananas! Boy, I love an all-egg crowd. Hey, take a break! It's Give Ape a Trophy Day. You should be celebrating. No. Thanks for letting me do your trash, though. At least here, someone appreciates me. Well, I got a close shop anyway. I just sold my last banana. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Ah, uh, thank you, everybody. <laughs> I'd just like to say that this is the best uh, day of... But first, I'd like to share a joke about a Perry Buck. <laughs> Oh, hiya. I won't say ape is hairy, but... What makes these lemmings run? Is there only one bathroom? Is there a sale on teeny tiny running shoes? No! It's the annual lemming migration! What are you doing? Is nobody stopping to question this madness? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. oh, congratulations, George. You just saved hundreds of tiny lemming lives. Oh, they're just gonna jump again next year. George wants to do something big. Oh. <gasps> well, technically, this is bigger. <laughs> you want us to run off the cliff like lemmings? And you're gonna catch us with, with that big mitten thing? Uh, yeah. That was amazing, George. I'm worried about that look on George's face. Anybody worried about me? His face has been stuck like this all day. Hmm. Yes, George has what's called crabby face look. Quite common among junior high math teachers, great aunts, and for some reason, people who make cartoons. Maybe he just needs a little smile therapy. He needs my patented Medislap cap. This'll slap that look off his face in no time. Hmm. I need more slap in this cap. George has lost sight of how important being king of the jungle is. George's outer world is in conflict with his inner world, like this. Is there a cure? George must return to nature and meditate until his inner and outer worlds are balanced. And so, George set out for Meditation Rock. In meditate. 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 Ursula? <laughs> That's a funny name. I am a nature spirit. My name is Carla who makes trees grow. <laughs> Talk about funny names. Making trees grow is a pretty big job around here, since somebody is always knocking trees down. Yeah, I might have crashed into one once. Follow me. I'll show you how it's done. Can George try? Uh-uh. No, George. George? George! Hmm. Carla, you're behind schedule. The seasonal guavas are supposed to be out by now. Ape? 
I prefer to go by my full name. The Magnificent Ape of Time! Heads up! <laughs> oh, hi, Chuck. Oh, I have an official title, too, you know. I'm Chuck the Rain Spirit. Smiles, everyone! Susie Sunshine's here! <gasps> now that's big! Sorry, Chuck. Rainy season's over. Aw, no fair! Hey, what's this one do? Don't pull that! No! No, no! You just pulled the earth. <gasps> That's even bigger! <gasps> cool. <sighs> Time for a coffee break. Jerry Rivers. Rivers, waterfalls, creeks, and tributaries. Billy Blizzard. Snow, hail, school closings. Wow! You all have such important jobs. We work around the clock without any overtime. Oh, George wishes he could do big stuff like, like you guys. Trust me, water gets a little old after a while. I heard that! I'm sorry, George. Nature spirits can get a little cranky sometimes. I'm not cranky! Uh, George will take over for you, if you want. Really? Really? Be great! Be great! See? Instant blizzard. It's easy. Any questions, read this. Oh. Okie dokie. Yeah, read the chapter about the Great Jungle Blizzard of 98. That was mine. Blizzards for beginners. George, this is a list of trees that need to grow today. See you in a week. <laughs> oh, rats. To make sunset, pull chain. Sun once a day. You just made a whole week go by really fast. Uh, I did? <sighs> yes, so we have to get to next week's thunderstorm right now. <gasps> I'm gonna make a thunderstorm. <laughs> Something about that, huh?
George just had the craziest dream. Ursula was there, and Magnolia was there, and Ape was really mean to me. George, it was just a bad dream. No, it was a good dream. George realized he doesn't need to be any more important than he is. Aww. I don't get it. Uh, I, I guess you had to be there. Beware, George. Ha, 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 ha!